Hello and welcome to the course of Mechatronics. I am Mandar Dado from SRTCOE and today we are going to deal with the optical encoders. So objective of today's lecture is to study optical encoders and outcome, outcome is the student will be able to explain the optical encoders. So let's start. Rotary encoders. Rotary encoders are non-contact optical devices used for converting the angular position of a rotating shaft into a an analog or a digital data code. In other words, they convert mechanical movement into an electrical signal, preferably a digital signal. So basically what we are going to do with these optical encoders is we are going to find out op, uh, rotational or angular position of the rotating shaft. That is the shaft is rotated in this, this, this angle that can be uh, a conclusion from the output of this optical encoders so these are uh, actually uh, there are different types of encoders but uh, the popular are optical encoders so we are going to go through the details of these encoders so optical encoder all optical encoders work on the same basic principle light from an led or uh, infrared light source is passed through a rotating high resolution encoded disk that contains the required code patterns either binary or gray code or bcd photo detectors scan the disk as it rotates and an electronic circuit processes the information into a digital form as a stream of binary output pulses that are fed to counters or controllers which determine the actual angle angular position of the shaft so basically we are going to go through the two types of rotary optical encoders first is increment incremental encoder and the other one is absolute position encoder the first type that is incremental encoder so incremental encoders also known as uh, relative rotary encoders are the simplest of these two position sensors so basically optical encoders can be used as position sensors that is they will give us the angular position of the shaft after uh, while it is uh, rotating or so the output is a series of square wave pulses generated by a photocell arrangement as the coded disk with evenly spaced transparent and dark lines called as segments on its surface moves or rotates past the light source the encoder produces a stream of square wave pulses which when counted indicates the angular position of the rotating shaft so this figure gives us idea regarding how incremental encoder works so as mentioned earlier so here it is a disk on which we can see there are few transparent segments present circularly arranged which is again connected to a shaft so while this shaft is going to rotate what we are having here is we are having a three leds that is light sources there is one segment on at the some radius of the disk which is having a receptor so for three leds we are having three light receiving elements so this segment will identify a total revolution one revolution of 360 degrees of the disk so here again through signal converter we can get here the output signal is a squared pulse output so here a b and z three outputs we are going to get so we can say this as a this as b and this as z so z will give us idea regarding one complete revolution of the disk that is the angular position that is 360 degrees of the rotation a and b will give us the idea regarding the direction of the rotations see here when the pulse of a and pulse of b if we observe here we can get pulse at a earlier than the pulse at b so we can say if it is a and this is b so a is going to give us pulse prior to b so we can say it is rotating in clockwise direction because the light will pass through a first and then b uh, sorry uh, the light of A uh, will pass first from the segment and then B. So we will get here the idea regarding the direction of the rotations. If the 
B will give us pulse earlier than A. We can say it is a anti-clockwise direction. Uh, it can be better understood with the next figure in this figure. Here, what is done? Here, uh, instead of A and B, we are going to go with one and two. So these are the two light sources. These are two the light detector receivers. As the disc is going to rotate, here what is done is we are having the two rows of rows of segments here. So transparent and dark uh, segments, two rows. So when the light is passing through this transparent segment for light number one. And receptor number one the two is having the dark segment so the light through the source two is not going to pass on the other side of the disc so we'll get only pulse for one then for two as it is going to rotate in clock uh, counterclockwise direction see here the, the output signals are given here we are going to get pulse for one first and then for two likewise and for counterclockwise for two first then then lastly for one so likewise we can go for the direction sensing also with incremental encoders incremental encoders will only give us the relative position it will not be an absolute position so it will give just relative to the previous position the next type that is absolute optical encoder so in absolute optical encoders these those are more complex than the incremental encoders they provide a unique output code for every single position of rotation include uh, indicating both position and direction their coded disc consists of multiple concentric tracks of light and dark segments each track is independent with its own photo detector to simultaneously read a unique code uh, coded position value for each angle of movement the number of tracks on the disk corresponds to the binary bit resolution of the encoder so a 12 bit absolute encoder would have 12, 12 tracks and the same coded value only appears once per revolution so in this diagram we can see here uh, here it is a 4 bit binary optical absolute encoder disk is present so for 4 bits what we are having is we are having 1 2 3 and 4 4 tracks of uh, dark and bright segments or transparent and dark segments we can say and each track or rather each segment of these two uh, each combination of these four bits will be having some value here so we can see for sorry uh, we can see for four here also we can see this is the next figure uh, we'll go for the previous slide first okay for now here we can see here for each combination of these bits we are having a binary number so here uh, as it is a four bit number we can have 16 different combinations from 0 to 15 uh, so that is the angular positions so one segment or rather one combination will give us 360 divided by 16 that is the value of angle we can get here from this uh, encoder disk so again what we are having here these are the transparent segments and these are opaque or dark segments here it is the center of the shaft so total 0 to 15 that is 16 say uh, parts of the disc are done so one part will give us angle is equal to 360 divided by 16 that will be the value of the angle okay and again what we are having here is there are four tracks so we need four light sources and four uh, light receivers okay so this was regarding the segment how the, this is going to look is like this here uh, actually it is a, uh, not 4 bit but it is a uh, resolution of 8 bit okay so here we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 light emitting diodes and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 8 photo transistors or light receptors sorry so this is a fixed slit so through this the light is going to pass so light will be going to pass from this 
to again here the some transparent uh, segment to this point from this point here so we are having different uh, combinations for 8 bit definitely the combinations are going to rise for 4 bit it, uh, it was 16 that is 2 power 4 for 8 bit, 8 bit it will become 2 power 8 that will be 256 so uh, the minimum angular uh, deflection that can be measured will be 360 divided by 256 at the uh, by using 8 bit encoder okay so this is the rotor plate again this is sorry this is the rotor plate this is rotating shaft and the combinations again will be from 8 bit that is 0 0 0 0 0 8 times to 1 1 1 1 1 8 times so total 256 combination will be there and each combination will be having its own uh, value of angle so when that pulse is going to get generated that angle will be the uh, change in the position of the rotating shaft okay so application of the optical encoder typical application of absolute absolute optical position encoders are in the computer hard drives and cd or dvd drives where the absolute position of the drive read on right heads are monitored or in the printers or plotters to accurately position the printing heads over the paper thank you